heard one of the main requirements to travel into Canada is submitting your COVID vaccine on arrive can. So this morning, Nicole Hernandez is showing us how to navigate through that app. Good morning, Nicole. Yeah, good morning, guys. So I have the arrive can app right here. We've got it uh, set up through our web browser. So I opened up Safari. I typed in arrive can and the first thing you have to do is sign up for an actual login. You have to put in an email, make a password and then once you're able to do that, you can log right in and get to this spot. The welcome to arrive can. So you just go ahead and hit that start button. You can see right here step two of 13. So there's going be 13 total steps to go through this process. First thing, how are you getting to Canada? We're going to go ahead and we're going to go by land. It's going to ask you what port of entry you're going to go into. If you just go straight up from Spokane here, we scroll down and we find no way. That's going to be where you go up right by Nataline Falls. You say the date you're going, the time you're going. We'll go at 5:37 a.m. and you hit next. And then you just continue kind of through this process. Are you traveling with a purpose? Uh, no, we're not going for any medical reasons, and this is where it gets tricky. So it's going to ask you why you're traveling. Now that the border is open to non-essential travel, this is where you can choose this right here. Discretionary says optional travel by fully vaccinated U.S. citizen or permanent residents. That's what you're going to click if you're just going to go for, for fun, for leisure. <clears throat> excuse me, for leisure. You can hit next there, and this is where you're going to start adding all of your information. So this is where you're going to add your name, what you're going to use, whether that's your enhanced driver's license, your passport, anything like that. It's going to ask you for specific information information about you, so I'm not going to fill any of that out right now. But after this screen, you can see we're in step five. Step six then is actually asking you about your vaccination status at this point, and it's going to ask you when you got your vaccine, what date it was, when you got your second vaccine, what date that was, and then it's going to ask you for pictures of your vaccination card as well. So that is going to be, of course, critical. And then once you actually get through this whole process, you submit this through to, to Canada to let them know that you're on your way to Canada. Uh, that is when, of course, you gather everything to take with you as well. So when you do decide to actually travel across the border, you still should bring that vaccinations card, still bring that enhanced driver's license and that passport, even though you've already submitted it here online. So it's a pretty easy process, but I'll send things back to you guys for now.